Enter this next fellow, uh, Shimon Vitovinsky, uh, Florida International University Institute of Environment professor there, who had detected back in the 1990s that the building might have been sinking at the rate of a couple of millimeters a year. Uh, he joins us right now. Professor, thank you very, very much. Uh, were you commissioned at the time to do this work, to study this particular building at the time? Uh, was this part of a look at other buildings in the area? Good afternoon, and uh, thanks for having me. Uh, my study was very different uh, in the focus and the way it's been conducted. It, I, uh, I studied uh, land subsidence in the entire city of Miami Beach and Surfside, for a different purpose. The purpose is to understand uh, why we have uh, uh, so much uh, flooding. Or the, the, since the mid-2000, there was a significant increase in flooding in the Miami Beach. And uh, so we tried to understand what contributed to that, how much the contribution is due to sea level rise and how much is due to land subsidence, because uh, flooding occur because these two uh, processes together. So uh, for that, we, we use the data that was acquired from European satellites uh, in the 1990s. Uh, the study itself was uh, done uh, in the past five years, and it was published last year. So we didn't focus on any particular uh, building. We studied all the buildings in uh, that area. And uh, we found different area where we, we have subsidence. Most of the area were in the western part of the city, uh, which uh, is expected because uh, that part of the city was built on reclaimed wetlands. So when you bring soil and build building afterwards, there is some subsidence. But we found one particular uh, case uh, in the eastern part of the city, which is supposed to be stable. So uh, we reported about that. So we didn't we didn't look in particular building. It just came out when we look at the results of the uh, radar from space that that building uh, was subsiding at the rate of two millimeter per year, which is very small, and we cannot see it with uh, our eyes, but it can be detected with certain instrument like the radar from space. So when you um, had discovered this phenomenon, this sinking phenomenon, was it, uh, it, was it something that was going on over many years? You said it was a relatively small amount in the scheme of things. I think it represents a couple of hundredths of an inch in, 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 in layman terms here. But uh, did, did, was anyone notified of that? Well, we notified, about, we notified uh, the people who deal with sea level, uh, sea level rise and uh, the hazard, the sustainability. Uh, about land subsidence, because that was the focus of our study. Uh, it wasn't studies that focused on buildings. It's just a byproduct of these technologies that we can measure buildings that move. So uh, we notified about uh, our study to the, the right community, which is people who deal with sea level rise. So when you heard later on uh, last week that uh, this building, this condo had, had collapsed, Professor, uh, what did you think? Did you put two and two together? Hey, wait, this was one of the buildings we were looking at that had these issues back in the 1990s. No. <laughs> I, when I heard about it, I was okay. horrified and shocked, like most of other people, old people, that saw the these uh, pictures and the, the video. Uh, I didn't uh, connect the dot. It was a, a very uh, smart uh, journalist from USA Today who did find my study and looked and he saw that it occurred, uh, that we marked over there that uh, building. So he contacted me in uh, for Thursday morning and he asked me, is it correct? And I looked again in our publication and I confirmed that. He reported it in his... Uh, paper, and since then, everybody got interested. Obviously, Professor, thank you very, very much. I, I didn't want to get the timeline on all of that. Uh, we'd love to talk to you again, sir, as you, you put a lot of these pieces together for us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.